Hey everybody, call me Felix and we're back on the chain trying out the big red chain restaurants the Philippines has to offer. This time on the chain, we're at a very familiar restaurant chain for this Filipino American. Of course, we're talking about McDonald's. And to be honest with you, I'm not really a fan of the Golden Arches. For this Californian, if you want a good fast food burger, you go to In-N-Out Burger. But seeing how there's not an In-N-Out to be found in the Philippines, let alone in the Podunk province of Ilocos Norte, and one year of lockdown makes a Big Mac with extra wilted lettuce appetizing, I figured I might as well throw in my two cents on McDonald's. Plus, Dad has the taste palate of a five-year-old, and he loves going to McDonald's once a week, so there. Because we're in the Philippines, we can't go to McDonald's without having fried chicken and spaghetti, which invariably entails you can't help comparing them to Jollibee's chicken joint spaghetti. In the first couple of times I had chicken McDo, I thought the quality of the fried chicken was actually neck and neck with Jollibee chicken joint. Did this taste test edge chicken McDo past the giant Jolly Bumblebee in our favorite fast food fried chicken rankings? Also, we take a shallow dive into the McDonald's secret menu here in the Philippines. I was equally surprised and aghast that this personal favorite burger of mine back home in the States was relegated to the secret menu in this country. My first pro tip to you about what to order at McDonald's is to avoid the consistently inconsistent Big Mac and order this one burger off the secret menu every single time. I swear this burger is the very best fast food burger you will find from a global fast food chain. No suspense here, it's a double quarter pounder with cheese. All right, sweep the leg, Johnny. Get this show on the road. Every time I go to McDonald's, I have this weird song stuck in my head. You may, if you guys are familiar with the Smiths, Big Mouth Strikes Again, Big Mac Strikes Again. <laughs> So it's like, Big Mac, na 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 Big Mac. So how big's the Big Mac here? <sighs> I'm not one of those blogs and I don't aspire to be, like, go travel to every country and see what the Big Mac looks like, but, eh. Um, this is on the small side for us. So you can see the patties kind of, um, emaciated if you like. It looks kind of rubbery and such. The cheese is not melted. Now I'm glad though they put the lettuce in check because sometimes some McDonald's locations get overzealous with the amount of lettuce. So you can see this in your hand kind of looks out of whack. Look at that lettuce pop up. There's plenty of dressing kind of concentrated in one area. There you go. And this is your Cheese is not mental. Is this a double? No, no, no. Is this a double quarter pounder or what? Yeah, it's a double So, okay. This is the one burger you should get at McDonald's. I get it at every McDonald's. Ooh, wow, that looks uh, delicious. It is a double quarter pounder with cheese. Ooh, la, la. For me, this is the best fast food burger and it's flaming hot and it's hot too. I love it. So, uh, let's go have our Big Mac because, you know. This is the one burger actually, mm, usually it's like, it, especially when the double quarter pounder is not available. This is like the go only go-to burger. I don't like the other burgers I got here at McDonald's. So this is the only one you should get and the double quarter pounder cheese. Okay, here we go. I mean, it has a familiar taste, really. There's a lot of dressing that I get with the Thousand Island. And then that beef. And now, I tried that Jollibee burger, which confused the living heck out of me. So, um, I find Jollibee's like third pound patties to be juicier and bigger but like I said a McDonald's price. burger tastes like a real burger not meatloaf burger it tastes like a real burger but for me a real burger is this double yeah, quarter pounder have a fun little contest I took oh, three bites out of this how many bites can you take out of a Big Mac because back in, when I was a child and of course I never want to reveal my age a Big Mac was a Big Mac like a huge Mac now it's like a downsized Mac. <laughs> Baby Mac. And here in the Philippines, the size of Big Macs really vary from location to location. So, I'll give you an example. The one in Sao Paulo by the tr by the bus station, they have a bigger Big Mac like you would get like in the old days of McDonald's. But this is more like a medium-sized Big Mac. Four bites of a Big Mac. But I think. People love McDonald's, especially even in the States, because they love the familiarity of the taste. Because like, if you grew up eating McDonald's, I hope to God you don't 
grow up eating McDonald's because um, you're going to wind up a little bit porky if you do. <laughs> um, it just tastes familiar. That's all it is. Five or six bites now. Warren? Sir? This was your idea. You were <laughs> comparing McDonald's burgers or, yeah, or doing a McDonald's blog. This is good. How do you like Big Macs compared to like the <laughs> burgers you're used to? Large. This burger is better it's than... Missing, huh? This burger is better than the, uh, the burger in Pindig. Oh, Pindig? Well, miles better. <laughs> yeah. It's not even a comparison, man. But it tastes like... It tastes the beef though, right? Mm -hmm. But So, like I always say with burgers, you should always... There should be things on the burger with cheese, lettuce, and such, but they should always accent the quality of the beef. These burgers, generally for me, are kind of small, so you can always get another burger. So I'm like, even after two burgers, I can still eat like two more. <laughs> it's horrible. Okay, here's a better question. Do you have Jolly Bee burgers, right, Warren? No. No? Oh, okay, so you can't compare. Okay, never mind. <laughs> So, would you agree that you would rather take a Big Mac over a Jolly Bee burger any day? God, hell yeah. And what's our reason why? I already said basically because it tastes like beef. Yes, that, <laughs> um, there's vegetables, there's real mm -hmm. cheese, mm -hmm. well, real fake cheese, you know, mm -hmm. not McDonald's cheese. Um, it's the meat and the buns too. And the buns, yes, let me see the bun. Far, like far from comparable. Mm -hmm. All right, so McDonald's french fries. I've told you in the past, well, I don't know if I've told you in the past, but I remember a time in which McDonald's french fries were cut, were fried with beef tallow. Yeah, beef fat. Man, really? like the classic recipe of McDonald's french fries was it's fried in beef tallow. And that's why it was so good. Up until about the early 1990s. So basically back home, they had an attorney basically say these are way too unhealthy and so McDonald's was forced to or compelled to change it from beef tallow to vegetable oil so ever since that time it's been made with like um vegetable oil and of course during that whole time in the states they had like this whole thing about trans fats so they tried to um pare down on the trans fats in their oil as well so to me they don't taste well let me try it out for you then. <laughs> to me, personally, they taste like McDonald's french fries back home, but they always miss something. There's always something that's always missing. It's just too clean. But it's still better than your average fast food fry. And there's a certain procedure as to how they get the potatoes kind of that sort of texture. Like fried all the way through, still moist enough inside. I always like my McDonald's fries to be kind of soft and not crunchy. You know how you leave it in too. Mm, it in yeah, there? yeah. So good. I like them I like them both, but you know what's my favorite part is when they're a bit soft, and mm -hmm. then at the very like end, that's when you get all crispy. the crispy bits. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the contrast. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna finish this last of the burger, so I think it took eight bites to get to the end of the Big Mac. Everyone. This is the burger you should get at McDonald's all the time. There's a double quarter pounder with cheese. Because with Big Mac, I feel the inconsistency is there when it comes to how much lettuce they put. And if they put too much lettuce, it ruins the Big Mac. Big time. But this is just beef, lettuce, uh, <laughs> beef and lettuce. <laughs> um, two beef patties, ketchup, mustard, or ketchup and cheese. I don't know if they ever put mustard in here. I never noticed. And pickles. So this is this is what a real McDonald's burger should taste like. All right, here we go. Much more satisfying too than a Big Mac. After your burger, it's all about the beef, which again does not taste like a meatloaf. Everyone, I mean, let me accept, let me keep on saying that it doesn't taste like meatloaf. And then the quality of the bun too, like we were saying, the sesame seed, sun seed bun comes through. That ketchup, of course, is not sweet either. Mm -hmm. Just the right amount of sweetness, really, for Just us American palates. Yeah. Heinz ketchup. 
Can you see the, the size of the beef patty is bigger than that Big Mac? See what I'm telling you, people? Double yeah. quarter pounder with cheese is the way to go. No ifs, ands, or buts. And this is on their secret menu. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's a lot better. I know, it looks delicious. Yes. Wow. See? Exactly. So look how big the beef is. Beef so, to beef to mm -hmm. bun ratio. Yeah. So Ew. hands down, this is better than a Jolly B one third Aloha burger. Quote me on that. A double quarter <laughs> yeah. pounder with cheese is king. But yeah, that's a real burger. Every time you go to McDonald's and you never have to, this is the burger. Every time. And I don't understand why it's on the secret menu, but hey, all more power to you, right? I mean, get this. Look at that. The only vegetables that pickle, that cut, like, it's, it's sweet, has a little sourness too. Cuts, it harmonizes everything. Best fast food burger you will get is this. Trust me. But uh, this is sparking my appetite for the fried chicken and the spaghetti later. Cause, because that's the most Filipino thing you can get. Fried chicken, gravy, and spaghetti all at one. Don't ask why <laughs> fried chicken and spaghetti became a thing. We like peas and carrots. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this double quarter pounder with cheese. Best burger you can get at McDonald's. Quote me. I finished all my burgers. I'm halfway through my fries. And we're gonna eat fried chicken. Warren, I'm a 10 year old. <laughs> open it open, please. Thank you. Wow, that's a big old breast meat here. Mmm. I only like thighs. I don't like breast meat, so I'm gonna take the first thigh I see. Ooh. Okay. Really? What? McDonald's thigh. Chicken thigh here. So this is the chicken McDo. And I feel it's lighter than chicken joy. Even though with all that breading. So unfortunately, oh, yeah. I got in. You know how like everything is unavailable in the locals? Well, I kind of um, got suckered into that and I forgot to order spicy. Gosh, don't you just hate that? When you just get, they, they just say, hey, we only have 17 pieces available right now. Oh, thank you. So this batter is, feels lighter than like, um, it feels lighter than Jollibee. Jollibee has more like a Popeye's batter going for it. It's kind of, at least for me, idiosyncratically, it does. How do you feel about this chicken? It's a juicy. Surprisingly. Isn't that right? Isn't it? Yeah. I did. I've only had chick fried chicken at McDonald's twice in Cebu. And there's kind of a funny story with one of them because I was in Moal Boal at the time doing that sardine run. And unfortunately, the homestay we stayed in didn't cook good food. So we had to go to the McDonald's and we ordered like this massive share box. It was like the best thing ever at that time. And I just don't remember what it tasted like. So that's why I'm reviewing it. To document my feelings about it. And you know, this has been sitting here for about 10 minutes. And it is piping hot. Piping hot. Okay, I have some of that meat then with that gravy. The gravy is not really peppery. Jollibee is a slightly peppery, a slightly thicker. I guess with Jollibee, if you find their fried chicken kind of, um... I feel like with Jollibee it's a little heavier. As far as like the, the, the taste the and the mouthfeel. The breading, also yeah. like the oiliness. And the oil kind of had that different taste to it. Yeah. So if you don't like that, this is like a lighter counterpart to this, to Jollibee's Chicken yeah. Joy. And it's juicy. And it's pretty juicy too. And you know what I like? They have more thighs here than in um, the <laughs> breast meat at San Nicolas. <laughs> up there, Jolly Babe. What do you think, Warren? <clears throat> so, do you remember we wanted to compare I love this, McDo but, and Jolly Babe? But, mas masarap ang fried chicken shakies. So what? Shakies. Shakies? <laughs> I don't think you can compare them because shakies is... No. Shakies is a sit-down restaurant. This is fast food. So in the fast food tier, what do you think? Between McDonald's and Jollibee. He's got to think about it. Jollibee. I'm McDonald's. Huh? McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah. Oh, okay. McDonald's. And why is that? I know. Jollibee. Oh, Jollibee? Yeah. But we forgot to get spicy, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Your spicy is pretty spicy. Because there's uh, spicy chicken there. Jollibee. 
They have spicy chicken here. But it's unavailable. It's unavailable? Oh, oh yeah, that's spicy. right. Yeah. Uh, okay. We picked the wrong day. They have to do that. Oh. Should I reserve Warren? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got one of these. Now you gotta eat... I don't know why, but in here you gotta eat chicken with your spaghetti. I don't know why that came to be. And there's hot dogs in there too. Warren! <laughs> <laughs> Ten-year-old needs a mixing, please. <laughs> Ooh la la, look at that. Yeah. Now this kind of, the sauce kind of <coughs> looks like, um, like ragu back home, but like a light, a kind of light, r light blood red color. So I'm hoping this is not going to be that sweet. I've not had spaghetti at McDonald's, by the way. But of course, knowing here, it's going to taste a little sugary. I mean, look at the hot dog. It already looks like it's... It already looks like it's a Filipino hot dog. So, as long as like the hot dog is not too crumbly or pasty, I don't mind. But let's try that out. Yay. Now, I don't know if it's because they're skimpy on the sauce a little bit, but that does not taste that sweet. The sausage itself doesn't even taste that sweet. It's not bad. So would you say Jollibee over the, uh, the spaghetti? I guess it will all depend though, because I think if with Jollibee, it kind of complements better because it's like bigger flavor. This one is more bland so with the chicken a little bit so then it kind of goes together oh gotcha kind of in balance so that the chicken is a star instead of the spaghetti so it's just a side right? i guess you could say that <clears throat> yeah gotcha now i could have gone and finished the three pieces left in this mcshare box but we have to go to a bula little place for dinner so i'm gonna save room i did eat all my big mac my double quarter pound of cheese i finished my fries and i finished that bland spaghetti too and two pieces of chicken so I think I'm pretty happy with this. So they asked me over here, what did you rate it out of a five-star scale? I mean, on a Filipino scale. I'm like, I'm like, why is there a Filipino scale? Is that like saying like five foot five is like tall or something? Whatever. Well, basically for me, being an American, there's plenty of good familiar, especially the double quarter pounder with cheese. Oh my goodness, I haven't had one in ages. Awesome. And especially if you've been here in the Locos Norte for a whole year. Yeah, a double quarter pounder with cheese is like one of the highlights of your of your culinary life around here. And I think the chicken here is pretty dang good. Um, we didn't get the spicy, of course, but eh, some other time perhaps. But all oh my like mm, past experiences and the beliefs I had basically were saying the chicken here is lighter than Jollibee. Hooray! So if you don't like that oiliness of Jollibee and such, this is I pretty like good. It. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty juicy. Mm-hmm. So, Jollibee, uh, bleh. McDonald's fr fried chicken, pretty good. So that's kind of like the ignored Trump's chicken. Trump's Jollibee. So far. Ooh, it Trump's Jollibee, says JP. Okay. Yeah, Trump's Jollibee. So far. Okay. So, onward and upwards to the other things, I think. So if you like this video, spiel more and I don't want to don't give forget to like, share, comment, and the most important things in this world is to subscribe. That's all. Thank Look you. Look at that bandana. <laughs> well, sweep the leg, Johnny. Thank you so much. And Cobra Kai. Alright, yeah. Empire never ended.